What's up? This is Sage Ross. Uh, tonight I'm going to be messing around, um, checking out my recording software since I'm getting ready to start streaming again. Um, I'm going to be rolling up another character in Destiny 2. Currently, this is my Warlock I'm working on, level 7. Um, Warlock is a pretty fun class. I've had a blast with it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and roll up another class. Of course, this is trial edition, so there's going to be limitations. I'm aware of that, and I'm really just checking it out and getting a feel for the game, seeing if this is something that I want to invest in and that I want to play around with in the future. And thus far, I like the feel of the game. I like the aesthetics of the game. Um, I'm really enjoying a lot of the features of the game. So tonight, I'm going to work on a rogue or a hunter type. Um, because I started with the Warlock class, kind of got into them, so I'm going to be getting into this class. Um, of course, my other character is an Awoken, but I think I'm going to go with an Exo for this one, female Exo. I like female characters, I just, I don't know, no real reason behind it. Um, I just like the aesthetics on the female characters a lot more sometimes. Um, let's see, so we're going to be trying to figure out what I like as far as looks. Kinda, I'm going to settle on that one. I kind of like the way that looks. Yeah, we'll go with that. Alright, so now we got to get colorations figured out here. I usually tend to lean more towards purples. Um, just to, It's just my preference. Um, this character, though, I might go something a little different. Yeah, let's go with that. Why not? Go with that with the purple, and then we'll go with the, uh... Nah, not the red eyes. Um... Let's go with the blue eyes. That looks pretty good. I kind of like that, yeah. So, we're going to run with that. Um, let's see, head features. Uh, let's see what we can find. Now, if I was doing a male, I might would go with that. Um, I don't want to look too Transformer-ish. Nah, not so much on that one. Uh, possibility. for you. So yeah, 
anywhere possible, I'm gonna kind of go through fast forward through all the cinematics, and um, you know that way I don't ruin them for you guys, because there's a lot of story and a lot of information that's contained within the. Uh, Let's get moving. We need to find Zavala, Ikora, and Cade. Cinematics. So you really, if you're, if you're playing the game, to play the game. Really want to watch the cinematics. I'm going to make a couple of adjustments here. I'm going to just uh, sound just a little bit. Since we skipped a lot of stuff, you have no idea what's going on. Um, so, basically, I'll give you a little breakdown. Essentially, um, an alien race wants a thing called the Traveler. It's this big orb that's floating around above the sea. As you see, these guys are coming in. And, you know, you can kind of see a little bit of the orb off over in that direction. But, um, Basically, they're trying to take the orb for themselves, and you were off-world, and you've come back to your home being destroyed, so basically that's where it starts out, is you're going through to start um, retaking your home. And you start out with a basic weapon, which is just a little pistol. You've got a little zoom view on it, um, kind of a little tutorial thing, typical game. Um, I'm not sure how this class is going to play through. I have yet to play this class, so I really have no idea. Um, I'll bring up the menu so you can see you have basic gear. I mean, this is your talent tree, if you want to call it that. Um, so this is your class skills and everything. Um, you got your gear stats, which it shows you what everything that you're wearing is. Um, you can compare the stats on everything. Um, as you see, the chest is where everything is down here, so if you hold down E, it just shows you the quality of whatever you're wearing. Typical stuff like that. Um, S brings you down to the sub-menu, and you get different things that you can unlock down here. Um, clan, I haven't done yet. I've still got to sign into the app, because you do the clan through the app on your cell phone, so I haven't messed with that yet. Of course, your inventory, um, I did not know those were account-wide. That is new information I'll have to remember. So these little e EDC tokens are account-wide. Um, I wonder if your money is account-wide, too. That makes me wonder. Um, but we'll check that in a minute. Of course, settings pane. And of course, you control all of these menus by just using WASDA. You don't have to use the mouse at all. Um, you just hit you know, W, A, S, and D. Rotate the menus and, and move them any way you want. Oh yeah, currency is account wide too, so that's definitely handy. I like that. I definitely like that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get into this thing, and we're gonna see what can happen. So we're gonna get on over here. Of course, right off the bat, you have a guy that pops out. You gotta kill him. So you a typical thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and. Go. This doesn't make sense. The Cabal conquer systems by blowing up planets. So, Whatever they want, it must be here, in the last city. If at all possible, you want to get as many headshots as possible. It takes a little bit of increase too, but... Commander Zavala. Civilians, and report to evac points. This. Guardians, rendezvous in the plaza. Our city will not fall. Yeah. 
And this little guy that, that I just brought up is your ghost. He's what controls your powers and, and does scans and everything else, tells you your quests. So it's basically your little companion that's with you throughout the game. And I bring it up often to check maps and to use it for a guide. Kate! Hey, you two! Give me a sec. Tyler's doing the hero thing in the plaza. Me? I've got a date with whoever's behind this. In a short date. Follow the path from there. It will lead you through the hangar to the plaza. I'll take care of these people. If the Cabal want war, give them war. So now we come into the armory. This is where you get your class weapons. And it looks like we all start out with the same thing. So, decent little weapon, and you'll have this for a while. I mean, you've got to go a pretty good ways through the game with like this weapon. Change weapons. It just—it's one of those things. Actually, no. This is a different one than what I got on my warlock. Uh, still very nice. I've got, I've got one of these on my warlock, and it's actually a very very um, decent little handgun. It's really nice to have. <laughs> I prefer this one to any others. Because like I said, you, you've got to go a long way through the game before you can upgrade to another weapon. And yes, like, like most games, you want to sneak as much as possible. Um, Evacuation orders 777 is in effect. This is not a drill. All civilians report to designated evacuation area immediately. And you'll notice I do I do a lot of corner pying, I do a lot of uh Odd maneuver in games, especially like this. Uh, it's just being ex military, it's how I play games. It's stuff that I learned. And it helps keep you out of trouble sometimes.
ammo boxes and your ammo refills. Like these little, this little glowy, green glow thing here, that's an ammo box. And you'll get these little uh, white... Look at the size of that thing! It must be their command ship! Assaulting the city? Look at the traveler! Yeah, that's the thing I was talking about, the uh, big orb. That's the thing they call the traveler, and they're trying to capture it using that device. And like I said, a lot of this stuff will be explained as they as you go through the cinematics, but that's basically the thing that provides your little uh your little cubic guy, this little thing, with its power. Okay, my ghost keeps tagging these cabal as Red Legion. Cora, what do you got? They're elite, ruthless, and rumor is they have never known defeat. Until today. Today they face guardians. But Zavala, they're attacking the Traveler. The Traveler waits. We protect our people at any cost.
Don't let them pass the gate. You need that stuff to go back there. We hold here. That command ship, it's next on the list. More Red Legion! Show them what Guardians are made of! The last of the shuttles is away, but the speaker, he never made it. I'm going to look for him. I've got the plaza. Go with Ikora. Find the speaker. We're on it, Commander. Ship off the field. Told me you need a ride. All right, so there you go. The first little bit of gameplay of Destiny. So I mean, Zavala picked up. Like I said graphics-wise, really awesome game. Um, 
gameplay, gameplay wise, yeah, it's, you know, it's confusing. Let us know when the shields are down and we'll hit that ship with everything we got. This is where it starts to kind of get fun. could help. Let me take a look. Let me have that console. We can find a schematic in there. The shield generator should be at the bottom of the ship. And then typically you have to kind of figure out how to go from there. So if you bring your thing up, you see it goes out that little thing. And it will identify points of interest to your So use that often.
shield generator should be straight ahead. Destroy the turbines. The shields should fizzle. Yes, just like that. Heat levels rising. It's working. are down. Zavala? Amanda, we're headed topside. Amanda! Now that we have that little issue fixed, um, this is going to take a few minutes. It's hard to explain about what's going on. Um, I can't go the way I was going to go. I was going to try to save some time. Um, but this will. 
kind of explain a few things as you as you go along and you find your little guy that you're gonna go get. It just takes forever to get there because it's just slow. There's no way to speed this up. Emergency broadcast. Rendezvous coordinates. They're evacuating the planet. We're on our own.
target or just need a spray and pray.
first death. So we know to go this way. I wanted to try and cross the log this time. I went around it last time, and now I know why I went around it. Oh, and of course. So we're going to skip that and continue going. skip that too because that's a very influential uh, cutscene. Again, like I said, I'm gonna cut I'm gonna skip all the cutscenes. Coming up on the European dead zone. Gonna be our new home for a while. Yes, Lightbearer. Oh. I'm glad to see you safe. I am Tyra. We are grateful. And of course, yeah. Burning through a lot of stuff, because I just don't feel like dealing with the, uh... Dealing with the dialogue. This is whew, a lot of civilization. For me at least. Uh, of course. Yeah. I've been living outside the city half my life. I don't think I'll buy anything. So Alright. So. Now if you hold basically if you hit tab, it said it brings up your little assistant guy. But if you, and it shows you where everything is around. Do you have some clan stuff to talk about? Around here, because, you know, there's your vault, um, different gear vendors and everything. So then if you hold tab, it brings your map up. And this shows you your destinations, your planets, different things you can go. And it's basically gives you the ability to go to your different areas and go out on your quests and, and do everything. And I like that they put this system in. Now this I can't fast forward really fast, so you just kind of have to deal with that. Shard is the reason this place is called a dead zone. We have to, Hawthorne. It's a sign. Alright. And you'll notice this little thing that pops up the respawn restricted area. And you know, I've been all over the EDC. Charming enough. I mean, Nothing says come visit like oh, a dark haunted forest. Shotgun, by the way. I don't but use non guardians it. aren't supposed to leave the city. Here's the thing about city rules they stop applying once you leave the city. There's a small gap in the wall. Hard to see, but it's there. Nobody goes farther than that. At least nobody who wants to come back.
under the car. It's a tight fit, but you can slip through. At least I can. Okay, then again, crouch. I don't wear all that fancy armor. Unbound that one from control. What was my oh my tilde switch weapon? I use mouse wheel to switch weapons. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bind my push to talk to my tilde, which is what I used to do in other raids. And I'm going to bind Let me know when you reach the Hawthorne? Hawthorne, can you hear us? Signal's dead. something.
things were the fallen. Scavengers from another world. They worship machines. And I still haven't quite figured out what that is. I think this is um, spawners or something like that. And these are loot crates. So, if you see something like this out and about, that's a loot crate. Alright, prayer. I actually prefer the uh, prayer if I have my choice of weapon. As you notice, you don't really have vendors to sell stuff to. You dismantle things to get um, glimmer, which is your currency. So you just mouse over it, and if you see, it's got equipment detail or equip details and dismantle. And if you hold F, you dismantle the item, and that gives you a little bit of glimmer back, so that you can use it for um, buying stuff. The Shard of the Traveler. This is it. Right out of our vision. Yeah, 
white bar at the top of the screen is basically your, your shield and your HP. Thank you. 
think we scared them away. Take me Better. to the shard. Alright, we'll skip this part. Yeah, I had to try that like five or six times the last time. So did much better this time. Impressed. got your life back. I don't know how you did it, but I'm glad. Because we're gonna need it. There are a lot more survivors out there. See, I've already got a um, 
Yeah, see, this is where you get your ship, vehicle, which I don't have, emblems, auras, all that stuff. I don't have any of that stuff, so, eh, not worried about it. This is your, basically your um, talent tree. So, you go through here and you get different upgrades, like the uh, Marksman's Dodge, Dodge to perform an evasive maneuver, steady hand, dodging automatically, reload your weapon. Um, so that's probably going to be handy. Mm. As you notice, these are your. This I'll is your grenade that you throw. It's different styles of grenades, and you got different jumps, and then you've got your different things like that. If you're a and then you left click, hold, to learn, and then you start getting into your different tiers here. So I'm going to go just for. Craziness. I'm gonna go look and see what this what the weapon we need more guardians like you. Red and this cycle will actually like like change every so often. So if you just sit here for a few minutes, you'll notice that it might change or it might cycle through. So if you're not happy with what's here, give it a few minutes, come back, and the guy will have a whole new set of weapons. Um, I like that pulse rifle. That'll say that's a nice one. Yeah, I think that's the one I like. It's the Helios. So I'm going to buy that. This will help the entire system, Guardian. I think the yeah, I think the Helios was the was the offhand that I prefer, and it does a little bit more damage in the sub. Do the targets know their targets? Lots of you show up. Red Jacks and I had your back. Let's see. Yeah, Get in there and show me your speed. That's the PVP guy. Um, so if you're going to do PvP, you talk to him, he'll put you in matches. I don't do PvP, so not my concern or worry. Step on up. Take a look. She on occasion has what? stuff. You thought a bit of apocalypse would shut down Eververse? Not likely. We have so two choices here. Grams, which I don't Come have see me again, yet, Guardian. So not worry about that. Yes, Lightbearer. The dreams have changed. And now I know why. I'll be here when you return. Right. I will look so upon the traveler again. Someday. Ready Venture to get out. Let so you know what we're gonna do I make the deal. I need it here. Yes, we're gonna <laughs> open up our today. flight path. Specific. Bring up Earth, and you see this little map like this. New settlements, new expansion opportunities for everybody. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to the next area. And probably once I get there, get settled in, I'm probably gonna call it for tonight. Uh, been a good video. Uh, this class is interesting. I'm I'm getting into it, but I think I'm, I think I prefer my warlock. Uh, it's been an interesting class. I want to see how the gameplay goes out. Um, definitely a lot more maneuverable class. Um, the Warlock takes a little bit used to. She doesn't have nearly the, 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 the Warlock doesn't have nearly the jump capacity or the agility that the, the Hunter has. So it's just don't you know, get cocky now that you've got your powers back. The EDZ is rough. Especially around the old. It's, it's play style, I guess. Um, I might have to delete one and roll a guardian if I can't do three. I don't know how many you can have as a trial account.
like the Fallen are bringing in a glimmer drill. Keep a sharp lookout. Shut them down. Yourself, you know. Clearly, you're someone worth knowing, and I flatter myself that I might be the same to you. Stop by. Let's see what we got. Home again. Autograph. That's nice. 
think we'll stick with that one. Um, yes, if Raya is an auto rifle, it's 22 attack, 450 per minute. I like this one though, we're gonna try that one. So I'm actually going to switch to this guy and get rid of my pariah. Guest, but here I have no tea to serve. These are dire times indeed. Devram K, the eighth, at your service. City militia, back when there was a city. Now I serve at the pleasure of my dear friend Soraya Hawthorne. First on the docking. Aim well, my friend. Eyes open.
there's one. Destiny 2 game gameplay. Um, I'll play again probably sometime this week whenever I have time. Depends on what work does. Um, usually my days off are Tuesday and Wednesday, which doesn't make any sense. But it is what it is. So I'll play a little bit every afternoon as I get a chance and uh, let you guys see the game. 